on Capitol Hill today, the administrator for the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, which rolled out the much maligned website for the Affordable Care Act. She said something we haven't heard yet from anyone in the Obama administration. I want to apologize to you that the website has not worked as well as it should. We know how desperately you need affordable coverage. Okay, but what about the people who want nothing to do with this website because they already have insurance they're happy with? She continued to say that Americans can keep plans they like and Republicans hammered her for it. I am aware that there are issuers in states who are canceling their old plans, which were grandfathered in, and moving to new plans, which have to... So what you just said about keeping your health care plan isn't true. No, they could keep it. The issuers chose... No, they to can't keep the it. They just got cancellation notices. Why are you saying you can? I don't understand. All right. Time has expired. That point about keeping your health care plan, that's an important one. How many times did we hear this from the president? If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor. Period. If you like your health care plan... You will be able to keep your health care plan, period. But that was never the whole story. It was simply not credible that the Obama administration and Congress would make a number of sweeping changes to health insurance and everyone would still get to keep their health care plan and their doctor. Back in 2010, the Obama administration vaguely acknowledged this by noting the high rate of turnover when it came to the 14 million individuals who have private insurance as opposed to group plans tucked in the federal register. The Obama administration noted the normal turnover rate for individual insurance is up to 67 percent and that because of changes mandated to plans by Obamacare, turnover would likely exceed that range. We haven't even mentioned the employers who are pushing workers off their plans and onto the Obamacare exchange because it's cheaper. This doesn't sound like if you like your plan, you can keep your plan. And in fact, back in 2009, a young White House correspondent challenged the president on that issue, noting that some of the proposals being discussed might have resulted in folks being forced into new plans against their wishes. But what about keeping your promise to the American people that they won't have to change plans even if employers... Uh, well, no, no, no. I mean, when I say... If you have your plan uh, and you like it and your doctor has a plan or, or, or you have a doctor and you like your doctor that you don't have to change plans, what I'm saying is the government is not going to make you change plans under health reform. Ah, that's the key. The government is not going to make you change plans through health reform, though the government might impose a situation that would cause a change of plans for you. So the promise was never quite as presented, and yet the president kept presenting it that way.